Welcome to your first flipped demonstration. This is for our Favism project. So, this is the first of two options that I gave you in class, and this is where you draw your colored pencil Favist project from your living object. What you'll need for the project are just a few things, and they'll all be available in class, except for the most important, which is your printed off black and white image of your living object, and that has to be from life. Remember, no cartoons. The next thing that you're going to get in class is a 12 inch by 12 inch piece of paper. You're going to need to have a pencil, you're going to need to have a pencil sharpener, you're going to need an eraser, and then you're going to need colored pencils and you're going to need color markers. We're going to use these materials and we are going to make a beautiful composition on your 12 inch by 12 inch piece of paper. The reason that we're doing it on a square piece of paper instead of a rectangle is that it's easier for you to make a composition, which is how you arrange your objects and your background on the picture plane. With a square, we still want to avoid putting everything dead center. That's the most boring part of your composition. If you off-center things, it'll make it a little bit more interesting for the viewer. Well, now that we have all of our materials, I'm going to show you how to get started. The first thing that we want to do is draw a basic shape to show us where we're placing our object in the composition. For my object, I'm just drawing the head, and to start the head, I'm just doing the basic shape of an oval. Then I'm going to start adding the angles of the chiseled features of the fennec fox, and I'm just going to start tapering in that chin. The next thing that I want to do is to figure out the proportion of the ears to the head. Proportion is the relationship of size between objects. To check my proportion, I want to measure the head using my pencil almost like a ruler and to then measure the ear and see how they fit together proportionally. Now the proportion of the ear to the head here is that the ear is the exact same height as from the bottom of the chin to the top of the head. So I just mark those, check my angles, and start sketching in my ears. And when I place my pencil against the object, I'm checking the angles. Now throughout the drawing, I'm going to constantly be checking angles and making sure that I don't just settle for the first thing that I draw, but I'm going to start tweaking it to make sure it's perfect. For those of you who have chosen either an animal or a person for your living object, there is an easy way to check the proportions of the face. What you want to do first is start by drawing in a vertical midline and a horizontal midline. And you want to angle it in the same direction that your person or your animal is facing. After that, you can easily tell that in the center line, that's where the eyes will be, and then halfway between that midline and the bottom of the chin of either the creature or the person, that's where you can draw your mouth line. And those are just easy tips to help you draw your face out as you go through this project. Now in any project you're allowed to have artistic license, so instead of having this rock here, I decided I wanted to have his tail wrapped around his body. It's an easy fix and it still goes with the composition of the image. Now I'm going to just add some final touches and then I'm ready to move on to my marker stage. Now step two after drawing is to then choose five different colored markers. 
it's best to avoid black in this project and try to rely on mixing a little bit of color. Then what you're going to do is in the spirit of fauvism, just start freely moving around the paper, adding a little bit of color outline to the pencil mark so that the pencil disappears under the colored marker. Now that we've finished our main object, we want to also consider the background to have the best composition available. I've decided to put in some flower kind of abstracted and simplified patterns in the back in the spirit of Henri Matisse. Now, after my background is all blocked in, I can start with my colored pencil, making sure that I completely fill the image with color and always move around with those colors so I don't have too much yellow in one place or too much purple in one place. And now we have our completed Favism Fennec Fox. If you like this project, you can just gather your materials and get started. The most important thing is to have fun with it and really play around with the colors. However, if you're interested in seeing our second project, which is the Favist Cutouts, then please click the link. Enjoy!